Hello friends, I am Himanshu and uh, today I am going to tell you that uh, how you can create a stopwatch. So I've got this sheet and here after timer I'm going to write the timer from where I want the stopwatch to start. So I'm giving the format that is hours then this is the minute or let's say this is the second. I don't want the hour to be displayed over here so I will go to home and uh, we'll go to this number format we'll remove this hh that's it so it's going to display only the minutes and seconds then i'm going to um, give two command button first one is to start the timer second one is to stop the timer so i need to go to developer insert under active as control button you will find this command button options click over there and drag this command button okay copy and paste it done and have to change the caption because I don't want command button 1 to be displayed over here so I'm going to go uh, means click on properties sorry click on properties and go to caption and uh, give whatever caption you want the users to be displayed so I want here start timer and click over here and give stop timer fine another thing that I want to do I want to get this particular timings to be displayed in a text box so that I can do some more formatting into it so what I will do I will go to insert and there you will find this text box option so click on this text box option bring the text box where you want it to be displayed and click on the formula bar and uh, equal to select this particular cell so this particular cell value is going to be displayed in this text box then you can do plenty of formatting so first of all I'm going to increase the size okay fine and go to format so whatever format you want to give I want to make it very simple so this is what I want to be uh, like this is the format I like now I need to do some programming and for that I need to go to macro so go to developer click on visual basic or you may press alt f11 click anywhere on that particular uh, uh, project explorer part go to insert and click on module so it will create a new module where you can type your macros or sub instances so I'm going to start a new sub instance or a macro I'm going to name it sub start timer and here I'm going to call the application dot there's a command let me check that is on time right this is on time under on time you will see plenty of parameters the first parameter is earliest time there you can see earliest time means when you are going to start this on time procedure so I want to start it immediately after someone has clicked on the start button but I want it to be start not immediately but once they have clicked on the start button one second later on so I'm going to apply now function which will recall the current uh, the uh, exact latest time and then plus I'm going to use another function into it that is time value through time value you can uh, add something to a time look if you are going to put like uh, 0 or 1 or 2 directly or within a quotation it can be a string text it can be a value but if you are going to add something to a time then you must use time value so under time value the way of writing a time is same under quotation you will have to give first hour so which is 0 0 then minute which is again 0 0 and second is going to be 0 1 because that is what I want okay uh, remove this bracket option it's not required here okay and uh, this is it another thing is put comma and now it's asking for procedure a uh, string 
so when this procedure is going to start what is the procedure exactly that you are going to follow so you need to create a procedure for that so the next step is that I'm going to create the procedure but I need to give the name at first so I'm giving the name it as next time okay fine that's it now I'm going to create another sub instance in order to describe this procedure so I'm going to write sub next time fine so under that look this is the sheet which is sheet 3 okay so sheet 3 which is sheet 1 so in sheet 1 this b1 value I want to change so sheet 1 dot range b1 dot value what should be the value of it once the procedure has start the value sh of it should be again I will recall that sheet 1 dot range b1 dot value minus because the value in sheet 1 and range b1 is in time format so I need to decrease because this is a stop watch it will start from let's say 40 second so it's going to be in the decrement manner so 40 39 38 and so on it will go like so once this procedure will start then the b1 value which is in time going to be decreased uh, going to be in the decrement manner uh, by one second so again as mm -hmm. I've told you that in order to decrement something which is in time format I need to use a time value so I will use time value and again the same thing 0 0 and for a minute and second I'm going to decrement by one second okay that's it and it will work like a loop first of all this macro will run and for procedure it will go to next time here and once this line has been executed the value of that particular cell is going to be um, decreased by one second and then again I need to call that sub instance one again so once again that is, that is start timer so I need to write start timer that's it for the time being it will work and I need to create another sub instance in order to stop it so I'm going to call it sub stop timer so for stop timer I need to do the same procedure okay comma here is the latest time which is not required another is schedule which is very important let's say by default the schedule is set for true if I will set it false then whatever procedure which has been start will stop so that will serve the purpose now I'm going to let's go to the actual sheet here and these are active X if you will click over here this is in design mode even if I will remove it from design mode and if you are going to click click in start timer nothing will happen because uh, to start timer I need to assign that macro so go to design mode once again click on start timer for command button 1 I am simply writing start or you can make use of the start timer ok fine then I am going to this stop timer and then I will write stop timer fine click in the design mode now it is not in the design mode means it will run so if I am going to click in start timer you can see the stop watch is working and if I will click on stop timer it will stop another thing is that 
uh, there's one problem actually if I'm going to write here let's say five seconds and I'm going to start the timer when it will become zero it will give an error and that's a debug error because the procedure want to keep on running but after zero decrement is not possible so what need to be done for that so for that I am writing a simple command here a simple function that is if let's copy this because it will be required I am going to write if sheet one dot range b1 dot value equal to zero then if sheet one dot range b one dot value equal to zero then exit sub means if the b1 value is zero then exit this next time sub so it will not generate any error another thing is that um, okay let's check it okay fine and start this one okay as soon as it is zero it will not generate any error so it's working absolutely fine but if it is zero and i'm going to stop timer again it will create an error and uh, so i'm writing a simple command you know to take care of the errors so which is on error go to not go to let's use resume next that's it even if it is zero and if you are going to stop timer it will not generate any error so this is how you can um, create a timer there are plenty of things that we can do this is a stopwatch only we can create a digital watch also and uh, thank you for watching have a nice day